Good morning, YouTube. Now, first of all, let me tell you guys, I'm a liar. And I need a haircut, which I'm about to do right now. I'm a liar because I said I was gonna be more consistent with my YouTube, and that was a lie. And my eyes are also swollen. But I do get caught up with a lot of things, and this weekend, um, I promised I was gonna give myself some, like, me time, which, you know, we had a great time. I went to golf, and she went to a nice little spa. There she is right there. My mom watched my kids for three days, so definitely, definitely enjoyed it. My gosh, I need to go cut this hair right now. So yeah, we have a lot of cool um, news for you guys today, and let's get it going. But first, let me clean up a little. Not only are we gonna start collecting ball pythons, but we're gonna collect mugs. We love coffee mugs. Okay, now back to cleaning up. So Tina always winds me up on the back. I do everything else, as you guys can see, and then she always winds me up. Fresh yet. There she is. And there it is, guys. I've been cutting my hair since I was 13 years old. Bam. All right, guys. So what do you guys think of my haircut? Please comment down below, let me know. I've been cutting my hair seriously since I was 13 years old. Um, that was the thing about always wanting to like look fresh and clean when I was in school. And when my, my uh, cousin used to cut my hair, he used to get tired of me asking him twice a week. So I just learned how to cut it. For about a year, I screwed it up. But that's one of the things that I had to learn on my own. And since then, I've always been cutting my hair. You know, I'm not the best at it, but hey, saves myself $15. <laughs> when I was, I'm telling you, when I was younger in high school, I used to have a line of people at my in my garage. I was like 16 years old. I would make like almost 100 bucks a week just by cutting hair. I would charge everyone five bucks and word would get around and people would come up. I'd fade them up, you know, left and right. It was something cool. And everyone, till this day when I run into people and from school, like, dude, remember we used to, you know, cut everyone's hair? Dude, I mean, I cut about 20% of the people in high school's hair. It was pretty cool. I should have become a barber. Go figure. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's talk about today. Um, I have a lot of work going on in my uh, backyard. Getting a couple of uh, fans put in, and I'll show you guys right now. As um, I'm finished talking with all this. And uh, also, we're going to do the giveaway right now. But I do need a little help with this. Um... We are going to do the 2,000 subscriber giveaway today. The one with the clown for the Super Snake for the 11 uh, winners. I really need your guys' help on this one. Please put your input on this. and I mean, literally, please let me know. I want to do this as fair as possible. And I want to really kind of be done with this giveaway like now. So, what's a good way of doing it besides doing the random, you know, paper picking and things like that? I mean, I was also thinking of maybe making some kind of a... A wheel of fortune type thing and putting each other's name or doing a dartboard and having the kids throw something at it or you know I don't know maybe putting the names face down and kind of putting like in poker cards and then flip you know have one of the kids or whoever row gets to first I mean I don't know please help me out with this because I want it to be as fair as possible please please it's a awesome snake and whoever's the lucky one to win it I mean that'd be awesome so please let me know about that the work that we have going right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. You know, don't mind me just doing the daily vlog. You know how that goes, Dustin. What's up? All right, so Dustin's the same guy that was doing all my rat uh, lights in my garage. Yeah. Say hi, Dustin. Now we got you set up here. We got power for your TV. And right here we are your quad. We got two ceiling fan boxes. You can get a couple fans. Nice. We got a switch. Perfect. So wrap it out. In mine too. It look beautiful out here. Nice. So we're gonna go with the fan there. Fan here. TV right there. Get a nice little view over here. And then we're gonna party like rock stars, right? That's right. Thing. Ciao. Right, Roy. We're gonna. Yeah, buddy. That's right. I want to tell you guys. Um, I've I've been really looking forward to doing this vlog as of last night. I was catching up on all these videos that I was watching on um, on YouTube. You know, finally got some downtime because this weekend, like I said earlier, I was you know wanted to give myself some 
my, my me time. But um, I saw this video um, that Boxing Boa put up, and man, I mean, you know, everyone gets shout outs here and there, and I appreciate it. I love shout outs, you know, and I, I like giving shout outs also. But let me tell you, man, did I love that shout out. I mean, dude, he, I mean, if, if you guys know me, for the people that do know me already, you guys know I am a positive, positive person. And I mean, I strive on that. I mean, I, I, I love it. I love being positive about anything, turning a negative into a positive. Even all the people that send me all this negative stuff about my vlogs or the way I live or the way I do things with my snakes. I mean, it is what it is. But he really gets what I, he gets, he gets who I am and how I go about things. And I mean, that vlog, uh, Boxing Boa, let me tell you right now, dude, you, um, this vlog, honestly, it comes from watching your vlog. Honestly, it was an inspiration for me to get back on here and really start doing what I what I like to do. So I want to tell you, man, Boxing Boa, thank you very much. And if you guys ain't following him, please go check his you know his his vlogs out, man. I mean, he has great videos, very informative. He's always talking about stuff. I mean, he has great snakes and just really really listen to what he says. He's an awesome guy, man. And thank you again, man, for all that positiveness. I mean, seriously, I felt it as I was watching it yesterday, like at three in the morning. You know, I'm like, you know what, I told my wife, I'm going to get back on this, man, and really just go for it. I'm going to take a week off of work and really, you know, kind of settle down a little because I've been getting a little too overwhelmed with stuff, and that's what I do. I mean, I'm going to say this again, and then next week I'm going to go back to, you know, getting high strung and doing what I do best, and, you know, like I said, it is what it is. It's who I am. Oh, well, but I am going to try to fix a couple of those things. So let's try to get a daily vlog for this week. That's my goal, to do a daily vlog. Okay, daily vlog, daily vlog. Boxing Boa, thank you again. Okay, so I was gonna ask you guys, what do you guys wanna see? Do you guys wanna see me do some more live feeding? Um, you guys wanna show my whole collection? Cause sometimes I wanna go through my whole snakes, but I don't want you guys getting annoyed. I'm not not even bored with just seeing a snake after snake after snake after snake. I mean, cause I have a lot of snakes. I mean, right here alone I have uh, 30, 70, uh, what is it? I have 90 snakes just in this room right here. Then I have about 120 in my tent room. So, do you guys want to see my whole collection? Do you guys want to see what breeding projects I have? Do you want a, an update on any of the snakes? I mean, please let me know. I mean, I, I, I want to do stuff that you guys want to see. You know, I don't want to just go over there and, you know, do a vlog about myself and then my cars or, you know, all this you know other things so please let me know what you guys want to see i'll be more than happy to do a vlog on what you guys want also a lot of people have been um sending me messages on instagram as far as uh doing a q a let me know if you guys want to do that maybe tomorrow's vlog will do a q a you guys want to ask me some questions do it on tomorrow's vlog and we'll go from there um that's one thing also um let's do a quick uh shout outs for some new uh channels out there that i've came across so of course, Boxing Boa, please, you guys need to go watch his stuff, man. He's awesome. Um, if you guys ain't watching Chris Graham already, I mean, it's a, uh, it's such a, I mean, dude, he, his vlog, well, I think it's called, a, a, well, not think, but I know it's called Kylie's uh, Reptiles. You guys need to go check it out. I mean, dude, it's such a beautiful family. I mean, Chris Graham's an awesome guy. I mean, his daughter is just freaking beautiful. And his wife, well, mm, she's a great person. <laughs> just playing Chris. Don't, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. You do the same to me. Okay, and um, what else? There's, there's other uh, vlogs out there that, you know, that are out there. I mean, you need guys, you guys need to, need to check out Spartan Reptiles. He honestly is a great guy. Great, great, great guy, man. Great collection. Um, you guys need to watch his video. I'm trying to get Craig from Balls and Bulldogs to do a vlog. Um, he's my friend from England. I mean, this guy is just freaking hilarious, man. I mean, I think if he did a daily vlog or at least, you know, bi-weekly, whatever, you guys would love it. This guy's just awesome. He has a great collection. He has awesome Maltese, Maltese Mamaskis, whatever you call them. Anyways, we know them as African soft fur rats. You can call them whatever you want, Craig, but I really think you should do a vlog, man. You have a beautiful family. You're a great guy, um, so please start vlogging. And then, of course, if you guys ain't following, following him already, Mr. Cool Guy, 
Mike McGrath, I mean, everyone loves the guy, including me. I mean, he just did this recent vlog that was, I mean, dude, freaking awesome. I mean, he hit every little part of, you know, from like, you know, you're the breeder, the hobbyist, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it was a great video. I mean, Mike, I think you're gonna go far with your vlog, uh, with your channel. I think it's freaking awesome. And of course, Godfather Exotics, man. I mean, dude, Jim Ellis is the man. And not only is he the man, but probably one of the only other guys I know that could beat up BCH with no problem. I mean, <laughs> the guy is freaking awesome. So make sure you guys go watch Godfather Exotics. He's a freaking really cool guy, dude. Awesome, awesome guy. And yeah, I mean, and everyone else pretty much knows everyone, all the other um, channels. So don't get mad if I didn't bring out your name out there. I'm just talking about the new ones that have came into, um, into play. So yeah, now let's show off some more snakes. I'm going to take you to my breeding room which the girls that I'm trying to get ready for this season or the ones that are already ready. I'm just waiting for some males to catch up to get up there. All right. All right, guys. So here are all the big females. So I'm going to start off with some yellow bellies that I honestly are some of my favorite ones. Like these right here are like, I call them true yellow bellies. I mean, you could just see them like, oh, she's a little head shy. I mean, look at this girl, man. She's humongous. We just weighed her in. She was at 2,700 grams. So we have these right here. These are my favorite yellow bellies. This one right here is another big girl. So hold on. I'm trying to show you guys. I have an inchy yellow belly here. And she's not here. I think she's going to be at the top. Yep. Not only do I need to clean her, but that's her right there. This is right here is a inchy yellow belly. This is the one I want to put my freeway with to hopefully get some Mardi Gras. You can see what's really awesome of her, she doesn't bite me. She's like a little white mask in the, her face right there. And these girls are eating like crazy. So you can see, these are all my yellow bellies right there. And then I have this black pastel, hep pie. And by the way guys, I love this Reptazorb. It is awesome, very clean looking. Pastel Sulfur right here. Sulfur Mojave that just dumped her water. Need to fix that. And these right here are some beautiful snakes that I can't wait to work with. And what I want to do with these snakes right here is I want to put my Cypress to, you know, get a couple of, you know, different uh, Cypress combos. So right here we have a Vanilla Mojave. And most of these girls are around 2,000 plus grams. Pastel Mojave, and they're in deep shed. Look how big these girls are, just to kind of get an idea. This is my hand right here, and that's them. And vanilla Mojave, Pastel Mojave, another Pastel Mojave. Again, really, really big. And then, there's another one, I totally forgot. Another yellow belly of mine that's very, very, uh, that's all my favorites. It's a Pastel Vanilla Yellow Belly that I honestly cannot wait to put with my um, super gravel. I mean, look at her. Freaking beautiful, right? And again, another, we have two pastel yellow bellies. These girls are so big. I just needed my males to catch up, man, so I could start putting these girls. Oh, that one's under there. I'm not gonna bother her. And then, we have these double pet albino pies. You guys saw a couple of them just laid for me. And let's see, double head pied ghost. How beautiful she is. And then let's check out some super stripe. So here's one super stripe. Two. Again, these are gonna go to my freeways and my um, my super gravel. You guys already know what I'm pretty much gonna do with them. And then we have some ivories. Ivory right there. Here's another one. Again, you guys know my super gravel and freeway are gonna be busy, busy. And this one right here is actually a pastel ivory. You see the little yellow lines on here? And then of course we have some albinos. 
Welcome. Black pastel albino. Cinnamon albinos, which is my favorite albino. And I think the coloring on her is just beautiful. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing I want to show you guys is... Here we go. Um, I have some foraging snakes. They're around 900 grams. I mean, beautiful, beautiful snakes. So right here we have sulfur pastel Mojave spider females. Check them out. Oh, I need to clean that up. But again, look how beautiful she is. Foraging female right there. We also have a puma. Here's the other sulfur pastel Mojave. I think she's going into shed though. So we have two of those. And here's another one that I really don't show, but it's a leopard lesser, 100% hep pied. Really pretty thing. She has a little dinker mark tail on her. Another beautiful snake. And I have a pastel. Nope, that's not it. Have some candinos. And yeah, guys, that's it. Now, let's go and do the giveaway. All right, guys, so my wife literally just came in. And there was a bag in front of her door. Let me show you what this bag says. I have to, hold on one second real quick. I need to get a marker. Turtle, come here real quick. I need to get a marker, give me one second. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, Tina comes up with this package that was um, left at her door. And look what it says. Let's see. Right there, shipped to Tina Garcia Graham. Let me clear that up, yeah. So you guys know who this is from, Chris Graham. <laughs> Thank you. Can you believe the nerve of that guy? I would never do anything like that. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chris. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Why are you opening my package? It's not for you, it's my package. It said my name. Yeah, but Chris told me he was sending me his package. His package. He <laughs> sent me <laughs> Me. <laughs> you <know>. <laughs> <laughs> he was sending me a package. Of Don't talk to me right now. I'm not talking to you right now, Chris. I'm not talking to you either. <laughs> a package. Oh, snap. Not for me, not for you. Uh, let me tell you right now, this is not for you. That is Kristen right there. That is for me. Jesus. I'm sure it's for me more than for no. you. No. Bull. This is getting framed. <laughs> framed for sure. I, Man, can I get another one sent with um, hearts and your signature, Kristen, please? I would really, really appreciate it. Tina, could you leave us real quick for a little bit? <laughs> a little one, -on one time with this coffee. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to get a <laughs> rated X on you guys. Sorry about that. But, um... Yes, thank you very much, Chris and Tina. <laughs> we really appreciate that. So now, let's go on to the giveaway and let's see who won the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I wonder who it's gonna be. It's upside down. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right guys, let's see who the winner is going to be. And I'm going to show you the snake before we announce the winner. So right here we have a female ball python, 100% het candy. Right here, 100% het candy, female. And this right here is from Mike Friedman from the Florida Reptile Ranch. Let's see who the winner is going to be of this beautiful, beautiful snake. Hold this oh. All right. Here we go. The kids have been at grandma's house, by the way. So if you guys are asking, 
Um, they'll be back tomorrow. Peace. Let's see if we have a record broken today on how many unique commenters. Oh, and 280. 280. Not a That's not a breaker. I know. Not, a, not a breaker. All right, let's see who the winner is going to be. And the winner of the 2,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be. Oh, where's Ace to go? Boom, 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 boom. I can only do it with one hand. We'll let's see. Snakes. Jeremy Polito. Polito. Awesome. Been watching since 600 subs, and I love your snakes. I really hope I win this one. Well, Jeremy. Congratulations. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Your hope must have been very, very strong because you just won this female 100% head candy. Beautiful Congratulations, girl. man. Send me an email at alwaysevolvingpythons at gmail.com or on my Instagram at alwaysevolvingpythons. And congratulations, man. We will get this girl shipped out to you tomorrow. Yay. Again, congrats on the beautiful snake. Thank you for being Congratulations. a- Congratulations. Thank you for being a part of our channel for so long already. Um, and guys, remember, give me ideas for, them for tomorrow on how I should do the giveaway for the 11 oh subscribers. For the, for the yes. Crown. Please, let me know. Till next time guys, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.